The film begins by showing Yin Fun Island, known for being a major hub for illegal drugs by the locals. Because the government neglected the island, economic growth slowed, causing widespread poverty. As a result, the residents turned to growing opium and engaging in illegal trade with other countries. To help the island, one day, a group of special agents was assigned to deliver genetically modified seeds to reduce poverty. However, during their journey, they faced mercenaries determined to steal the seeds, leading to a shootout. Unexpectedly, the mercenaries were led by Sana, a beautiful yet strong woman. After defeating the agents, a mysterious man named Lean appeared to stop her forces. It turned out Lean was a veteran special agent on his final mission before retirement, emerged to counter the threat. After completing his task, Lean retired, finding peace in playing the piano on the beach. While memories of his ex-wife, who frequented the same beach, stirred bittersweet feelings due to their divorce caused by their demanding national duties. Shortly after, Lean was disrupted by a child delivering a mysterious message, sparking his suspicion. Upon returning home, Lean sensed he was being followed, with a remnant of his instincts from his time as an intelligence agent. Surprisingly, his home was lit up with a birthday celebration hosted by former colleagues from his special agent days. During the festivities, Lean was approached by his former boss, a bald man, with news of another mission. The intelligence agency needed Lean's expertise to investigate the seeds bound for Yin Fun Island. According to his boss, there was a company planning to steal the seeds to turn them into a biological weapon that would endanger many people. Therefore, the intelligence agency asked Lean to intervene again, as only he could continue this mission. Initially, Lean refused because he wanted to enjoy his retirement. However, his boss mentioned that his ex-wife would also be involved in the mission. Upon hearing this, Lean became interested in accepting the mission again. The scene then showed Lean's former wife, Yun Xin, a well-known biology professor in China. In her laboratory, Yun Xin and her team worked on creating artificial plant seeds to fight poverty and hunger. One of these seeds was meant to be grown on Yin Fun Island region to address both issues and reduce opium cultivation. Shortly after, Lin visited Yun Xin to discuss her project. It was revealed that his main task was to accompany her to Yin Fun Island to plant rice seeds. However, Lin expressed genuine worry, urging Yun Xin to reconsider due to the danger posed by mercenaries wanting to steal the seeds. Unfortunately, Yun Xin remained determined, citing her crucial knowledge of the island's soil fertility as her reason. That night, during dinner, they gathered to discuss their mission. Once again, Lin strongly advised his ex-wife against participating, warning of the dangers of the area. Unfortunately, Yun Xin remained determined despite his warnings. Before leaving, she quietly wished Lin a happy birthday. Meanwhile, on Yin Fun Island, a group of thugs was seen torturing members of the local council. This group was led by Li Wenyao, a former special forces captain who turned to trafficking narcotics, weapons, and other illegal goods. Li Wenyao relied on collaboration with corrupt officials to expand his criminal activities, especially in the opium trade. Those who resisted were subjected to brutal torture until they gave in for mercy. In another scene, we meet Wu Li, a man who lost his wife and now cares for his young daughter. Wu Li, who used to serve with Li Wenyao, his old comrade from the Special Forces, now relies on his friend Ji Yun for support. While helping his daughter with homework, Wu Li talks with Ji Yun about their lifts. Suddenly, Wu Li's daughter collapses, causing them both to panic. Thankfully, Li Wenyao arrives in time to rush the girl to the hospital. After a medical examination, they learn that Wu Li's daughter has a serious heart condition that requires immediate surgery to prevent it from getting worse. Unfortunately, Wu Li doesn't have the money for the treatment because he's currently unemployed. Seeing his friend's struggles, Li Wenyu decides to help, though he has hidden reasons. He tells Wu Li that scientists plan to bring dangerous weapons to Yin Fun Island, which could harm Wu Li's daughter. But the truth is, they're actually bringing seeds to help fight poverty and hunger. Li Wenyao wants to use this situation to convince Wu Li to help him steal the seeds from the special agents. In return, he promises to get the best medical treatment for Wu Li's daughter.
The next day, Lin and the special agents arrive at Yin Fun Island. They're there to escort Yun Xin to Xin Mu, where they'll plant the seeds. Unfortunately, Li Wenyo sends his mercenaries to stop and eliminate them. But through clever tactics, Lin manages to overcome the criminals and stop their plans. Not long after, Lin and his group finally arrived at Xin Mu. They gathered in a lab to discuss how to plant the seeds. Alongside scientists, some officials were present, though they didn't seem very involved. At that moment, Lin talked about the earlier attack, hoping for official help. Meanwhile, Li Wenyo was unhappy when he heard his men hadn't gotten the seeds, but he pretended to be pleased in front of the reporters because he was supposed to open a new fabric factory. This factory was a cover for his illegal activities. Later, he invited Wu Li to the opening ceremony, seemingly as a thank you, as he hoped this would convince Wu Li to help him steal the seeds. After the factory inauguration, Wu Li went to a temple to pray for his late wife. He felt sorry for resorting to violence again and was determined to help Li Wenyo defeat the agents and get the seeds to protect his daughter. He also wanted to repay Li Wenyo for helping him when he was still in the special forces. Later that night, Lin tried to convince Yun Xin to leave and go home for safety reasons. He was just worried about her. But Yun Xin got angry, thinking he was being too protective. This showed how they still had different views. Even though they still cared for each other, they couldn't reconcile as husband and wife because of their differences. The next day, Yun Xin held a meeting to explain how to plant the seeds. At that moment, Li Wenyao showed up unexpectedly, but Lin and his team stayed watchful. After that, the seeds were shown to everyone, but before Yun Xin could talk about them, there was chaos. In the confusion, one of Li Wenyao's men grabbed the seeds, but they turned out to be fake, as the real seeds were taken by Lin's team. Unfortunately, Wu Li appeared and took the seeds quickly. Lin who saw this and acted fast. After that, there was a big fight, but Lin stopped when he saw Wu Li shot Yun Xin. He rushed to take her to the hospital, letting Wu Li escape with the seeds. Shortly after, officials from Yin Fun Island approached Lin, assuring him of their dedication to resolving the chaos. However, they remained unaware of the true culprit behind the theft. Upon hearing this, Lin felt disheartened by their apparent lack of effectiveness. Later, one of Lin's team members noticed a specific tattoo on the bodies of Wu Li and Li Wenyo's associates, indicating their connection to a notorious former Special Forces unit. Without wasting time, Lin contacted his superior to gather more information on Li Wenyo's group. After the call, he also received reassuring news about Yun Xin's successful surgery. Meanwhile, Li Wenyo thanked Wu Li for securing the seeds. However, Wu Li started to suspect Li Wenyo's motives. Upon inspecting the seemingly harmless artificial seeds, Wu Li remembered Li Wenyo's past cruelty after he killed helpless enemy, leading him to believe that Li Wenyo had no conscience. At the same time, Lin and his team gathered for a virtual meeting with the state council. During the discussion, Lin learned about the advanced technology within the seeds. Essentially, Yun Xin's artificial seeds could transfer biological genes, allowing plants to thrive in different environments. This discovery offered hope for addressing food shortages and ensuring stable agricultural production. After that, Lin began to understood why Li Wenyo stole the seeds. It turned out he intended to use the genes to enhance the opium he grew. Shortly afterward, one of the agents found CCTV footage showing Sana kidnapping Professor Lin Fang. Sana was Li Wenyo's top lieutenant, in charge of his mercenary forces. That night, Sana was transporting Lin Fang to a specific location when she encountered Lin and his allies along the way. This led to a confrontation between the two groups. Unfortunately, Sana managed to take the professor to an apartment building. After that, Lin quickly searched the area and successfully rescued Lin Fang from Sana's control. However, just as he was about to leave, Wu Li intercepted him. At that moment, they immediately resumed their intense fight. Despite Lin's skills, Wu Li proved to be a formidable opponent and eventually overpowered him. After Wu Li left, Lin found Wu Li's business card on the ground. Meanwhile, Wu Li brought Lin Fang to Li Wenyu's house. There, Li Wenyu ordered Wu Li to 
to execute an informant labeled as a traitor. However, Wu Li refused, driven by his conscience. Besides, he was disappointed by Li Wenyo's deceit, recalling their past missions to eliminate drug dealers, which contrasted with Li Wenyo's current drug trafficking activities. Despite Wu Li's objections, Li Wenyu dismissed him as weak. Once Wu Li left, Li Wenyu pressured Lin Feng into cooperating with him. The next day, Li Wenyu apologized to Wu Li and invited him to dinner to honor his achievements. However, Wu Li was still disappointed with Li Wenyu and decided to end their partnership. In response, Li Wenyu's associates pointed their guns at Wu Li. At that moment, Wu Li acted quickly by taking Sana as a hostage to escape. After successfully getting away, Wu Li returned home with gunshot wounds on his back. Ji Yun, upon seeing his injuries, removed the bullets from his body. During this, Wu Li noticed Ji Yun's injured leg and calf, realizing that Ji Yun, his friend, was the informant labeled as disloyal by Li Wenyo. With his true identity exposed, Ji Yun confessed to his betrayal. He had indeed been working with Li Wenyo, even playing a part in the murder of Wu Li's wife, whom Li Wenyo saw as an obstacle to his criminal activities. Enraged, Wu Li proceeded to severely beat him. In the end, Ji Yun was killed by his former friend. Shortly after, Lin went to Wu Li's home, but found Wu Li had fled upon hearing police sirens. Inside, only Wu Li's sick daughter remained. At that moment, Lin acted quickly by taking the child to the hospital. Meanwhile, Lin Feng informed Li Wen Yao that he couldn't mix the genetic material from the seeds into his opium plants without files held by Yun Xin and the special agents. As the situation grew complicated, Wu Li came back home to get his daughter, only to find her missing. Luckily, a nurse he knew told him his daughter was in the hospital. Rushing there, Wu Li found Lin outside Yun Xin's room, where her condition was worsening. Unfortunately, despite the medical efforts, Yun Xin passed away, leaving Lin devastated. Overcome with emotion, Lin attacked Wu Li in a fit of uncontrollable rage. Despite his intense anger, Lin refrained from turning violent towards Wu Li. Instead, he asked where the seeds were located. Filled with regret, Wu Li revealed the whereabouts of Li Wenyo's laboratory. Meanwhile, two members of Lin's team chatted casually while waiting for their leader's return. Unfortunately, they were ambushed by Li Wenyo's forces and taken away by force. Despite enduring torture, Lin's men remained steadfast, refusing to reveal any information including the vital files needed for transferring the seed genes. In the end, Li Wenyo executed one of them. Upon his return, Lin was shocked to find his team missing in chaos at their headquarters. Without delay, he reached out to Li Wenyo, proposing a negotiation, where he would provide the necessary files in exchange for his captured teammate's release. At the hospital, Wu Li found his unconscious daughter. Driven by his determination to seek justice for his late wife, and ensure his daughter's safety, he decided to assist Lin in his mission to take revenge on Li Wenyo. During the journey, Wu Li encountered some of Li Wenyo's men, whom he swiftly defeated, considering them minor obstacles. However, his victory was short-lived, as he soon faced heavily armed mercenaries. Despite his brave efforts, he was eventually overwhelmed and captured, then brought before Li Wenyo. Meanwhile, Lin arranged a meeting with Li Wenyo to negotiate. After the negotiation, Li Wenyo took Lin to where his captured teammates were held near a pool. During their conversation, one of Lin's comrades disclosed that Li Wenyo had killed one of their agents. Despite his anger, Lin remained calm as he found himself surrounded by enemies. In contrast, Li Wenyo discussed his plans to expand his drug business soon. At the same time, Wu Li endured brutal torture by Li Wenyo's men, enduring continuous beatings and serving as a punching bag. Despite the pain, Wu Li summoned his strength and fought back against his attackers. Back at Li Wenyo's headquarters, Sana informed him that the data files from Lin were fake. This enraged Li Wenyo, leading him to threaten his associates. Unexpectedly, Wu Li appeared in a burst of anger. With Lin by his side, they attacked the gangsters, rescuing Lin's comrades. After that, they chased after Li Wenyo and Sana, who fled. Shortly after, they reached an old building 
that once a drug factory where they faced more mercenaries. Undaunted, Wu Li and Lin fought fiercely until they eliminate the mercenaries. After that, they confronted Li Wenyao and Sana, while each aiming their weapons. Before a possible shootout, Wu Li convinced Sana to leave, unwilling to harm her as he saw her as a sister. It was then revealed that Sana was the child kidnapped by Li Wenyao 15 years ago. After that, she underwent training to become a killing machine. Unfortunately, Wu Li failed to persuade Sana, whose mind had been brainwashed, prevented her from changing. As a result, they exchanged gunfire, resulting in Wu Li being critically wounded on his cheek, while Sana died instantly. Meanwhile, the cowardly Li Wenyu fled with Lin Fang and the seeds. However, Lin quickly pursued him, defeating all of Li Wenyu's remaining henchmen along the way. Eventually, Lin caught up with Li Wenyu and challenged him to a one-on-one -on -one fight. During their confrontation, Wu Li emerged once more and joined the fight against Li Wenyu. Despite seeming physically weaker, Li Wenyu displayed impressive fighting skills. Both Wu Li and Lin struggled to overcome him. However, Wu Li eventually noticed a weakness in Li Wenyu's defense. Finally, after a fierce struggle, Li Wenyu was defeated, with Lin delivering the final blow. Sadly, Lin succumbed to his injuries, passing away as his breathing became difficult until his heart stopped beating. Meanwhile, Wu Li returned to his normal life, with his daughter's health had recovered thanks to government support, and the movie ended on an emotional note. Moral lesson from the story, sometimes the seeds of problems grow from the roots of good intentions. But in the end, it's not about the type of seed, but rather an unexpected mission during a birthday surprise.